The world of Linux distributions is ever evolving and changing. New Linux distros come and some old ones fade away. And some distributions just rocket with new features and improvements. But the choice is always there. You can choose between more than a hundred Linux distributions, each one offering its own unique features and unique experience. But with so many options to choose from, it can be difficult at times to choose the perfect distro for you. So today, I bring to you 7 fantastic distributions that are the best out of the best. I've tried and tested a long list of Linux distributions and curated a list of 7 top distros focusing on the features they offer, stability, security, user friendliness and what kind of an experience you get out of them. This video will help you make an informed decision on your next operating system and I've included some hidden gems in there so let's jump right in. Starting off, we have Fedora on number 7. Fedora is an advanced and powerful Linux distro from the Red Hat camp. Fedora is designed to be a cutting-edge system with the latest security updates, development tools, and an intuitive user interface. Fedora Linux has an impressive range of features that make it ideal for users who want the newest and best technology available. BTR file system, Z standard compression, and many other features make this distro very fascinating and very responsive. Fedora is upstream from Red Hat Enterprise Linux and brings many advancements and innovations to its users before most other Linux distros. But it does this in a well-tested and reliable manner and Fedora users can enjoy these new advancements in a safe way without sacrificing system reliability. Fedora is an open source champion. Its source code itself is fully open source and all the packages in its official repositories are open source too. No closed source code here. This makes Fedora a great choice for privacy and open source focused people. It is also a community driven project with a strong community supporting it. It uses the DNF package manager and all the software packages are made available with new version numbers here. We can also use RPM Fusion to install packages that are not available officially as well as some proprietary packages. Fedora has a life cycle of 13 months and a new version of Fedora is released every 6 months, which you can easily upgrade to with a single click. While some might feel that this rapid release cycle is too fast, it should be noted that this also enables the Fedora developers to test and release new and impressive packages and tech to users in a practical way. You are getting new tech but it's also reliable. Fedora comes with the latest GNOME desktop environment in its purest form and it's really enjoyable to use. I recommend Fedora for Linux enthusiasts who are looking to have some fun and learn Linux. Fedora is also a strong leader in the Linux community. It's one of the earliest names you'll see adopting the latest trends and technologies. We see this again and again, and the tech that Fedora tests and adopts tend to become the industry standard. So yeah, Fedora is kinda big deal in the Linux world. So you might have noticed that I've been putting out a lot more videos lately. That's because I got big plans for the channel in 2023. So if you're enjoying my work, then do check out my Patreon. Alright, moving on. On number 6, we have MX Linux. MX Linux is the number one ranked distro on DistroWatch and it rightly deserves to be so. MX is a super lightweight and stable operating system based on the stable branch of Debian. Right out of the box, MX Linux offers a range of powerful features that facilitate user experience and productivity. MX tools are a set of specialized software that make MX Linux a high performance and easier version of Debian. MX Linux is based on Debian stable, so it's ultra stable. Everything works flawlessly here as the system has been put to test in fire. MX is simpler to install compared to Debian. MX is also an install once and forget system as Debian stable will receive updates for almost a decade. Once you get MX on your system, you never have to do any housekeeping here. That's a major plus point with Debian based systems. MX ships with the XFC desktop environment. This makes it very lightweight. It requires very less resources to run and performs much better than other systems like Windows. This makes MX the ideal choice for older and low power devices. MX essentially breathes new life into old computers. The performance on even a decade old laptop with MX is surprisingly good. Run it on anything relatively modest and you'll be blazing. Along with XFC, KD Plasma and Fluxbox are also available here. But XFC is the flagship version of MX Linux. At the same time, MX is fully functional. There are no functionality trade-offs for performance here, except for few animations and desktop effects. MX Linux is a no-nonsense operating system that gives you full control. MX tools are a set of curated specialized tools that let you do advanced things like fixing boot up issues, installing restricted multimedia codecs, user management, job scheduling, installing NVIDIA drivers and so much more using simple GUI. Normally, many of these things would require that you have an intricate knowledge of the Linux system, commands and what's going on under the hood. This limits what Linux newcomers can do, but with MX, you have full control. 
I love these MX tools as it really makes your life simpler and you really enjoy having this power over your system. A lightweight power pack performance, access to more than 60,000 stable packages, world class dependability, full control over your system and zero maintenance. This sounds a lot like the definition of what the number one ranked operating system should be. Oh wait, MX Linux is the number one ranked Linux distro. On number 5, we have Garuda Linux. Believe me when I say it, Garuda Linux is one of the most innovative and feature-rich operating systems you'll see today. Really, there's nothing like it. Garuda is an Arch Linux based distro and it provides users with an extensive selection of tools and features that make it very unique. First of all, Garuda is a bleeding edge rolling release distribution just like its parent and this brings you all the software in their newest versions. Your operating system will have all the latest features all the time. Garuda comes in 15 different variants and you get all the desktop environments here. GNOME, KD Plasma, Cinnamon, XFC and many more are available here. We also get a special dragonized version which comes with full blown neon RGB wipes. It looks really bold and the vibrancy is tuned to the max here. But the other variants like GNOME are normal if you feel this is a bit too much for your eyes. Garuda Linux installs on a BTR file system and has Z standard compression enabled. This makes it faster to boot up and faster at everything. Garuda Linux is also powered by the Linux Zen kernel which is a more beefed up high performance version of the Linux kernel. Linux Zen kernel comes with a set of performance focused patches. It aims to optimize system performance by targeting specific areas of improvement such as reducing latency and increasing throughput with advanced algorithms and schedulers. Its powerful set of tweaks have been proven to increase system speed while also providing an efficient use of system resources. So with Garuda, you are getting a boosted performance out of the box. You can expect around 5-10% to increase in performance and we are just getting started here. And the feature that I love the most. Garuda magnificently integrates BTRFS and Timeshift and provides the best backup and restore system I have seen yet. Better than any other operating system out there. Every time you install an application or an update, Garuda takes a snapshot of your system and in case something goes wrong, you can use that snapshot to go back in time. Alright, sounds good. Garuda also makes these snapshots accessible in Grub menu before your system even starts up. So in case an update messes up your system and you are unable to boot, you can just boot into a snapshot of your system before that update, directly from Grub. This brings an unseen kind of reliability to your system, all the advantages of a bleeding edge rolling system without the breakage concern. Garuda also comes loaded with a set of specially curated tools which let you do anything you want here. Garuda Assistant gives you full control over package management, system components, advanced settings and more. Garuda Gamer lets you install literally anything gaming related on Linux with a single click and you can see we have exhaustive options here. We have tons of games and a choice selection of emulators here as well. Generally, installing and configuring them can be a hassle but Garuda does it automatically for you. Then there's the boot repair tool, system cleaner, partition manager and so much more. Well, I don't want to make this a Garuda Linux video, so I highly recommend that you check out my Garuda Linux video if you are intrigued by this distro. I have reviewed Garuda Linux in depth there. Garuda Linux is really one of a kind distro and the developers have done phenomenal work on it. It's earned its spot in this video. The number 4 spot gets taken by everybody's favorite, Ubuntu. Ubuntu famously dubbed as Linux for humans, which also happens to be my current operating system, is definitely one of the best desktop operating systems in the world today. Ubuntu offers a unique blend of modern software and an intuitive user interface that make it attractive to users across all skill levels. At its heart, Ubuntu is driven by the principle to make Linux accessible and usable by everyone, not just the tech savvy. And Ubuntu developers go the distance to achieve this. Unity Desktop and Snaps are just a couple of examples of Ubuntu's big actions to promote usability. Ubuntu stands out from other Linux distros due to its ease of use and reliability. Ubuntu is very intuitive. The customized GNOME is very easy to use here. This desktop style has received its fair share of love as well as hate. But for me, I absolutely love this. Favorites and running apps here and the search for other apps. It really makes it all so easy. Even Linux newcomers can start using this system within an hour. And you have to agree, the desktop in this orange accent color looks super modern and gorgeous. Installing Ubuntu, getting more software, changing settings and getting around the system in general. It's all very easy on Ubuntu and this is one of the biggest selling points of Ubuntu. Furthermore, Ubuntu has very large software repositories with around 50,000 well-tested packages. You might be a student, a software developer, a business owner 
you can get anything you want here. And these packages are very reliable. Along with that, with Snaps, Ubuntu is trying to get more and more developers to bring their software to Linux. And it's working with major players like Microsoft, Google, Nextcloud and Spotify bringing their software to Linux. I can get behind that. On the software availability front, Ubuntu is exceptionally good. Ubuntu is also very stable. It is based on Debian as well and Ubuntu is one of the major players in the enterprise side of Linux. This demands that Ubuntu be a highly reliable system on which hundreds of thousands of businesses run their applications. And Ubuntu lives up to this demand. It is the professional's choice. This ensures that you get a very stable and trouble-free commuting experience. All these things make Ubuntu a comprehensive OS for all users. You may be a Linux newcomer, a veteran, a student or a software professional. Ubuntu will fit into your life just right and perhaps that's the reason Ubuntu is loved by its users. On number 3, we have Zorin OS. If you ask me to suggest a Linux distro without giving me any more information of where you want to use it, what are your specific needs, what is your age or profession, I will boldly suggest Zorin OS and you'll probably gonna end up loving it. Zorin OS is very different from other distros on this list. While all the other distros here advertise certain things like an energized kernel, a better package manager, lightweight desktop, powerful toolset, Zorin OS advertises something completely different. If you visit the Zorin website, you'll not see any phrases with tech-savvy loaded words. Rather, you'll see that Zorin makes your computer better. It's simple. Zorin abstracts all the info like your kernel version, the tweaks they added, the package managers involved, and just focus on providing you a polished desktop experience. I mean, you just need to know how to drive a car to use a car. You need not know how to repair the internal combustion engine. Zorin OS comes with the familiar Windows 7 style desktop with a premium touch. The desktop looks gorgeous here. There are multiple layouts for you to choose from and you can also adjust the accent colors here. But I really love how Zorin looks out of the box. You may be an absolute Linux beginner, but you'll find your way around here easily. For Linux newcomers, Zorin OS is highly recommended as it makes everything very easy here. Zorin OS comes with flat packs, snaps and Ubuntu's .deb software repo enabled out of the box. The software store here nicely integrates everything and lets you install anything you want here. Although there are multiple package managers, everything is presented to you with uniformity here. You can also install Windows applications here. Download them from the internet, double click on the file and Zorin will first check if the app is available natively on Linux and if yes, it let you install the Linux version automatically. If not available, then it will install the Windows app with Y. This is just an example. Zorin doesn't have a learning curve. You get started with it and you'll be able to comfortably use Zorin without the need to learn the Linux way. You can learn about Linux, package managers and other stuff at your own pace. This makes Zorin a great entry point to Linux. Zorin is a great system for even long term Linux users because it makes everything effortless. Work or play. Forget the how and just enjoy what you do. Zorin OS is the product of the best of open source tech we have today and excellent innovation and execution by Zorin developers. It has emerged as the better option for Windows and Mac users on so many different levels. Even for existing Linux users, it is a system that offers a high quality computing environment. Highly recommended. Alright, on number 2 spot, we have Arch Linux. Arch Linux is a hyper versatile, advanced Linux distro designed to give you a system that you design. Yeah, you heard that right. Arch Linux is one of the most popular Linux distros and provides users with an extremely configurable user experience. When I say extremely configurable, I mean extremely configurable. Arch Linux is driven by the KISS philosophy, which is short for keep it simple silly. But Arch Linux is anything but simple, silly. Arch Linux provides you a huge software repository of the latest packages and you pick each package individually and build your system. The default installation doesn't even come with a graphical user interface. You get the Linux kernel and the Pacman package manager on top of it. You choose your preferred display server, preferred desktop environment, and preferred applications and build a system that is completely personalized to you. You get a lean system that has everything you want and nothing that you don't want. Arch Linux is not as simple to get started with as say Ubuntu, because you need to have a certain amount of exposure to be able to build the Arch system. But recently, this process has been made simpler with a new installer. But this process of building an ultra personal system with Arch Linux is a deeply satisfying one. And you get to learn a lot about Linux. 
If you've been in the Linux space for some time and know your way around, I highly recommend that you install and use Arch Linux for some time as it'll significantly boost your Linux knowledge and your general know-how of how computers and operating systems work. So put it at the top on your bucket list. With Arch Linux, you can build whatever you want. For example, you can build a high performance system for gaming or the most stunning desktop you'll ever lay eyes upon. With Arch, you're limited only by your imagination. Arch Linux provides a huge repository of the latest and greatest of everything. The newest of all the tech comes to Arch before you get it on any other distro. While you might be getting excited for a new feature on some other distro, that's so last year for Arch users. Another great thing about Arch Linux is the Arch User Repositories or AUR. While Arch Linux has a large enough software repo, the AUR has literally all the software ever created for Linux. Arch User Repository is a community maintained repository and from there you can install all the software in the newest versions. And these work surprisingly well. It's really ingenious how AUR works. The community creates and maintains package builds that are basically instructions on how to get the software source code from GitHub, then compile it and install it. But this whole process is automated. All you have to do is search for software and just install. Arch Linux is an experience. You feel more connected to your system because of your involvement in its setup. And if you are tired of other user-friendly distros and want to have some fun, well, try Arch Linux. Alright, moving on to the top spot. A distro that's very special to me and many of you I'm sure. An operating system that's known for its simplicity as well as elegance. Linux Mint takes the number one spot in this video. Linux Mint is an Ubuntu based Linux distro that comes with its homegrown cinnamon desktop environment. Linux Mint is one of the most popular operating systems because it's very simple and well-rounded in all the areas. It comes with its own Cinnamon desktop environment and this is possibly the biggest reason for Linux Mint's success. Cinnamon is a simple user interface, a familiar bottom panel housing all your favorites and running apps, an organized application menu with a fast search and few icons here. That's that. No glitter, no distractions here. Work, study, play, whatever it may be. The operating system itself stays out of your way. There are no flying windows here when you press the super button. But that doesn't mean Cinnamon is lesser than any other desktop environments. No sir. Cinnamon is built using GTK3 Plus and is fully functional. It has built-in libraries of extensions, desklets and themes. So if you want to add, mix and match stuff here, you'll find it very easy. Linux Mint maintains simplicity in everything. While other distros are wrangling about things like Flatpak versus Snaps, Linux Mint by default ships traditional .deb packages for all software. There are flat packs available here, but traditional .deb packages are prioritized always. Consistency is another very important aspect of Linux Mint. While Ubuntu shifted from GNOME 2 to Unity to GNOME 3 and now GNOME 40 series, Linux Mint has always had a consistent UI. While the underlying tech has been constantly updated, the look, the feel, how you use your computer has remained the same. In an ever-changing world, sometimes this consistency can be very valuable. It starts to give you a sense of home. Because of these reasons, sometimes Linux Mint is referred to as Ubuntu done right. While I can definitely see the point here, I'm very close to both Ubuntu and Linux Mint to talk about this now. Maybe in some other video, but I don't want to go there now. But yeah, Linux Mint does take the best qualities of Ubuntu, strip away the controversial stuff and add its own unique blend to create something very beautiful. Linux Mint provides one of the most polished computing experiences. I'm not talking about Linux distros but operating systems here. It's fast, stable and has a good software support. And for people coming from Windows background, Linux Mint can be surprisingly home-like. So Linux Mint is my top recommendation of this year. There you have it, 7 Linux distributions that you must try this year. These 7 distros while very different from each other, they are the best in their respective areas. I hope I've covered something for everybody in this video. Which is your top choice for a Linux distro this year? Do let me know in the comment section below. I'd absolutely love to hear from you. If you enjoyed this video, definitely consider subscribing to my channel. Next up, check out the top 15 Flatpak apps that you must have installed in 2023. This is Linux Techs, signing out.